Hey, what's up everybody? This is Beat the Bush and today we're gonna talk about durable products versus normal products. Here's something I notice when I get sneakers. Over the years, I bought plenty of sneakers from different brands, normal sneakers for $60, and that's kind of on sale. If you buy like really hip fashionable ones that just came out, it might be like $120. So it ranges from $60 to $120, right? If you wear them, they usually break within a year or two. I've noticed that yes, they do consistently just disintegrate. Usually it's the kind that are a nylon. Let me show you which kind. The stitching and stuff, it just falls apart because it's made out of fabric and you're just stepping on it day in, day out. They just wear out. The reason I want to talk about good products versus durable products is that if you buy good products, you can actually save a lot of money because then you don't keep on rebuying the same thing over and over again. I'm not saying like cheap brand. These are really good brand sneakers and they still disintegrate if you ever notice. Which do you buy that will last you for a really long time? There are certain shoes that will last you for a long time, but most of the time they're over $100, $120 each. I almost feel like they purposely try to do this so that they, they, they seem to last pretty long and then they wear out and then you go, oh, okay, I wear out, let me go buy another one. So every year you buy, you spend another $60, $60. It's great for them because they keep on getting recurring income from you. But if you buy a really good pair, you're not going to keep on buying it. I have a pair of shoes that lasted for a good at least six years now. So I like that brand. Let me bring it and show you. I just happened to buy this at Macy's. It's the Eco brand, E-C-C-O. It was a little expensive when I got it but then I thought well you know I'm gonna try this brand and I just got lucky getting it turns out a lot of the pieces the the most vulnerable to wear is made out of leather and so it actually didn't wear out this has been at least six years See? the back it's not worn out like the sneakers so I went and bought the same brand and made sure that all the spots that are vulnerable are made out of leather so I'm pretty sure this is gonna last heck of a long time I don't know, never have to buy shoes again, I guess. I mean, the soles will wear out and you can actually replace them, but I've never done that really. I mean, this this is fairly old and it hasn't, I'm surprised that the, the sole part didn't wear out as fast as the sneakers. There you have it, my spew about sneakers. I'm sure there are other shoe brands that are really good that last forever, but it's not often in places where they tell you how long things last. No one will tell you that. It's only by reputation that uh, you'll find out that things last longer than others. And a durability is not really a top criteria people look for. People just look, oh look, that will satisfy my needs. Oh, a pair of sneakers, they're comfortable today and let me just wear them. You know, it might not even register after you keep on buying year after year, keep on buying the same shoe and just keep on feeding the corporate money. On to number two of the durable products thing. I have pans here. This is a name brand pan. I'm sure it costs maybe about 40 to $50 for this and it lasted me a good two years. So what happened to this? The non-stick coating started stripping off and I can no, no longer use it. Whenever I cook something, it sticks to the pan, so this pan is dead. And I'm sure many people would swear by these cast iron pans. I got this cast iron by Lodge. I'll leave a link down below if you wanna get one with care. These things are inherently non-stick. If you happen to break the non-stick, it's built like a tank. It will last forever. This will be the last pan of this size that you'll ever buy if you do buy one, ever. So let's say this is a $50 pan and you buy one every two years for 50 years. That's about $2,500 worth of pans that you buy because you have to keep on replacing them. Well, this $20 one is the only one that you'll ever buy if you do get one. I've been using it for several months now, so I can't really tell you how long they last. But when I go and look it up, people say you know, when you get these, get handed down from generation to generation. And if it ever loses its non-stick layer, you can actually rub it all off and bake on a new non-stick layer. Non-stick layer is formed by oils. You put animal fat, uh, bacon oil, or vegetable oil, and then you cook it off. It kind of carbonizes and it turns black sticks onto it and it turns out that stuff is really non-stick. This thing is a bit heavier so uh, you have to get used to it. Don't be a wuss and uh, you know just just use your strength to uh, lift this thing up. When I started cooking steaks with it, man it turned out really good. I probably don't have to keep on talking about cast iron pans because I'm sure 
there's a lot of people who already knows about cast iron pans and I probably don't have to go on and on about it but it's my new favorite thing because once you buy this you don't have to keep on buying all these expensive pants and now I'm gonna show you these knives thing you can go keep on going around buying 20 40 dollar sets at the discount stores and you get a whole set right and but then they never last same theory you have to just keep on buying them right handle breaks or whatever right but if you buy an expensive set they'll last forever. I've had this set for five years now and they are just as sharp as the day I got them. You may think, oh no, these look like fancy knives, it'll cost me $500. You can actually get name brand ones, but the uh, older model, which is this one is called Zwilling J.A. Hankel's 4 Star. They have a thing called 4 Star 2 now, and then they have a Pro Series, which gets more and more expensive. I mean, I use this one and I'm very happy with it, and it cuts everything I want it to. I guess I have to get a more expensive set to realize how much better a more expensive set is. I don't know, but I'm satisfied with this set. Actually, you can get this for very cheap now because it's an earlier model. They have J.A. Hankel's 4 Star 2, and this is the 4 Star 1. It came with uh, all of this except this one and this one. This set, and I think I got this whole set back then for like, it was on sale for like 150. So it's not that crazy, but they are very high quality knives. Because I liked it so much and it lasted so long, I went and got this carving set for another 100 bucks. You tick pop per care of these knives, it'll last forever. And same theory, you buy once and you never buy again. The whole purpose with all of this is if no one buys anything anymore, our economy is just going to plummet. If everyone is like me, who goes and seeks out these durable goods that are really durable, that'll last you a lifetime, I think a lot of companies will go bankrupt because they're not making the best products that will last forever. It almost seems like they try to make it so that it will implode after a certain time. Usually after the warranty, it'll just implode. For the sophisticated company, they can estimate when things fail. Initially, after you make it right here, this is time axis, it has a really high failure rate. And then as time goes on, it goes down to a very minimal level and then it would last for years. So let's say this is year three and this is year five. It would actually go down like this. And then after a certain time, it would go up again because everything starts failing again. The companies usually do is they try to do like a thing called burn in so that they get to here. All the stuff that fails would fail quickly. They try to turn it on for a certain time, test it, and then they see all these fail and then and they stay in the factory. After that, it comes here, and so by the time you get it, not many would fail. It would be so until many years later, the reliability would just not be very good after a certain amount of time and the number of failures, all the ones that I make would suddenly go up. If you are the designer of the product, where would you set your warranty if, if it's like this? you would set it at four years, of course. If you set it at that, then most of them won't fail. And then when it expires, then they would fail. And then even if they expire, they can't claim the warranty. So that's how products are warranty. What we would like to avoid is these crappy products that only last five years. We want something that goes here, 20 or 50, something like that. Or maybe like the cast iron pan, it'll, it'll just keep on going straight. It'll last for like 300 years. Will it last for 300 years? I don't know. Maybe because it's a big hunk of metal thing. Will the sneakers last 300 years? Most likely not because the leather will eventually wear out. I can see it last maybe 30 years maybe, but maybe the fashion won't look so good by then. It'll like be really unfashionable to wear it. Knives, I can see it last a lifetime if you take good care of it. I do know that for the knives that I showed, you can actually drop it and it will break in half like for really strong impacts because it's such a thin metal. So don't drop your knives, take good care of it and they'll last forever. So I've been searching for more of these durable products. They're quite hard to find and so it takes quite a bit of digging to go around finding them because they have first-hand experience using it. They go, oh yeah, I've used this for so long, it lasts forever. Well, those are the products that you should try to get. The whole idea is that you can actually go and buy expensive, high-quality products and actually increase your net worth because of that, because you don't have to keep on buying low-quality products to replace the broken stuff. Of course, that's only the case if you will keep on using it. If, let's say, you start some hobby and you go, oh, everything you buy needs to be the, of the top, highest quality, the most durable thing. 
then you go buy and then you never use it, then what's the use? You actually spend too much. If it's something that you think you only use once, it's okay to buy really cheap stuff. Well, I think I've talked way too much here on this one and I hope all the information is useful. So I've got some more durable products coming in that took me a long time to find out what they are first. I hope to share that in a future video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe over here. And if you have comments, I would really like to know if you have any of really durable products that look like they'll last, you know, 10 years or even a lifetime. Let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.